Hello, everyone. And have I got an absolute delight treat for you today. Emma Stewart, amazing illustrator of the Charlie Blue, The Adventures of Charlie Blue and Laurie Lampos. Welcome, Emma. Hey, hi, everyone. Thanks for having me, Karen. Isn't this the most amazing project to be working on? And we've kept it kind of low key because we didn't have really set dates and things in mind. But what has it been like working on this book? Um, yeah, look, it's been an absolute career highlight on so many levels, not just because I'm working with the Duchess of York, but also just the story. It was just instantly there um, when I read it. I could see all of the illustrations. Um, it's not always that easy with books. Um, sometimes you've really got to think a lot, but at other times it's like the characters are just there waiting for you to bring them to life. And it was definitely one of those situations. And also, I mean, the adventure that they go on, I mean, come on, like that's the kind of adventure as children you still kind of believe that you can go there in the land of Nod or whatever, but um, to actually be able to, yeah, like experience that through an artist's perspective by illustrating this book has been a dream. It really has. Oh. So hopefully that shows in the book. <laughs> you have brought these words to life so beautifully, so oh, beautifully. And, and Charlie, let's talk about Charlie. What an amazing character. Yeah, he's delightful. And for me, um, it's really, it's just really special to be drawing uh, a brown person because I've been illustrating for over 20 years. And honestly, it's probably happened once or twice where I've had that, that experience. And it was just a real pleasure for obvious reasons. Yeah. He's an amazing character. You've just depicted him so well. And that was the vision from the Duchess, wasn't it? And you, as soon as you got him, she was like, wow, that's that's him. That's it. That's Charlie. <laughs> you know? oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, she just knew because there was no changes had to be made. And when that yeah. doesn't happen. And, yeah. um, and like even the storyline, there's such a moral story in it, isn't it, as well? It's just Yeah, that's right. That's right. I and love that it flowed so well for you. Look, it really was, it really was an absolute delight. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what else to say. I'm just so excited about it coming out. It's, I feel like it's been a real nail biter because of COVID and everything else and all of the delays. Um, yeah. But I've just been patiently waiting. And, you have been yeah. amazing. I'm just gonna share my screen and share with everybody a little bit about this book because yeah. It's such a visual delight and it's okay to share children's books. And we're actually doing an audio flip book with this where the Duchess reads the book for children. Please ignore all my open tabs. <laughs> Don't judge me. So the dedication of this book is for everyone reading this book and for children, please never give up. The curiosity of wanting to learn more. Looking up to the sky, let the scars, stars guide you and learn about the wonderful old cultures of love and traditions. I honour First Nations all over the world. Thank you for being steadfast to what you believe. Sarah, the Duchess of York, isn't that beautiful? Good on her. Beautiful. And yeah, Pauling um, there, this is the older version, but uh, her endorsement, Pauling is um, head over Indigenous, I believe. But look at these, these beautiful illustrations. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. They're just like a feast for the eyes. There's so much like my children look in here and they find so many little things, you know, like and in, in, it's not just the foreground. It's also the background as well. Like it's just yeah. so beautiful. So beautiful. I'm not going to give it all away. I'm going to stop my share. <laughs> <laughs> it's a feast for the eyes. Um, for both adults and children. So is that the way you illustrate? Do you do it for as much for the adults as you do for the kids? I think it's subconscious if I do. Mm. To be really honest, I was a really lucky kid. My parents read to me, particularly my mum, read to me and my sister until I was about 13. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm in bed with her every night and, um, you know, I just remember those really old school British illustrations, yeah. watercolours, you know, Beatrix Potter, etc. cetera. And um, yeah. it's just been etched into my subconscious mind. So I think I'm still that little kid who Magic. Um, remembers all of those really luscious, 
um, timeless illustrations that watercolor conjures up for me. I'm, I'm an oil painter as well. I paint landscapes, um, but it's a totally different kettle of fish. This is just my little journey into my, my childhood. Um, and I don't know if I illustrate for adults and children, but it's, it's always really exciting to know that, that the adults enjoy them as well. Oh, well, I certainly do. <laughs> I don't know if you can gauge me as the as the adult in the scenario, but it's such a beauty. You know, everyone that comes through, I say, like, oh, there's just something more and more and more with each one. They turn the page. It's amazing. Uh -huh. And I can connect with you. I, I'm looking right now at my Beatrix Potter collection, um, all nice linen cover books. I just adore them. Um, such a treasure to keep. And I think um, too, growing up in London as well, and all the old buildings, and yes. that's all etched in there as well. So it's just and, it's amazing how things come out of your subconscious. Isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So did yeah. you grow up in London and then well, move over? Yeah, we were there when I was a little kid. My siblings were born there. I was born in New Zealand because my parents travelled quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like a second or third or fourth home now because I've moved yes. so much. But I've got a lot of family and, and friends and my brother lives in Wales. So it does, it just feels like a second home. Yeah. That's and so I'm dumb. really, at the moment, I'm really missing it, actually. I kind of feel like taking a long haul, those horrible long hauls. <laughs> Who would imagine that you'd ever miss them, right? But it's so worth it when you get home, whenever you, I call it home, but I have two homes in my mind and in my heart, yes. but, you know, whenever you get there and it's different culture, different vibe, but I feel like I live on holidays all the time in Australia, yeah. you know, in Perth, it's just like that. Yeah. We've had beautiful support in this book as well. Um, I don't know if you know this, the Perth Observatory give, um, shared with us some um constellation facts and space facts and things like that yeah. and then we actually had and i'm looking at it and not showing you so i beg my pardon please but and um, we actually had a star an actual star registered in the duchess's oh, name called wow. sarah's star and that's the actual okay. coordinates of the star isn't it beautiful that so magical yeah so when you look up you can know that sarah's star is shining down on you it's pretty pretty beautiful oh. This book is so much more on so many levels and um, beautiful, but you are a very big part of that, Emma. So I absolutely thank you so much for your contribution to it. And there's going to be more, isn't there? <laughs> In oh. the pipeline, there's more, more Charlie books so to come. Yeah. And thank you, Karen. I have no idea how you found me. I never do. I never know how people find me, but this oh, one. You've worked with one of my illustrators before, um, oh. Tanya. Oh, it did not come into me. I should oh, have Tanya Sava. Yes, Tanya yeah. Sava. I love her. She's absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. I worked with Joanne and I was helping Joanne at that time. So, yeah. Okay. See? It yeah. all ties in together. The world is not that huge of a place when you <laughs> connect the dots. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a very niche industry, which I'm aware of as well. So. It is. Yeah, yeah and and you're i think you know an emma stewart illustration whenever you see it um, i've been you, told you, that i've been yeah. told that which is always a, a surprise i'm like how did you you know and people are like yeah no I, I know your work but i guess yeah. i have been around for over 20 years now which makes me feel old <laughs> not at all uh, that's amazing yeah. to have 20 years under your belt how exciting yeah huh? and i think also you know, it's um, it's such a an interesting industry as well because you know now with all of the technology and um, you know the way that you can work with illustrations using all the different apps and there's the the old fashioned hand painted illustration isn't common at all anymore. No. So if you're lucky enough to have been published like me and still have that technique, I think that's plays a big role into why people still want me to bring their books to life because it's yeah. not it's a different look entirely it is yeah. it is that it's like a traditional look yeah and, and th those books are timeless you know mm. that's the thing isn't it there's a di um whereas and but also then you have to be mindful of changes 
that's the, that's the only thing but yeah. that's also a good thing because it keeps everyone on track from the beginning you know yeah. I, I feel that you put af- extra effort in at the beginning of the the illustration process to make sure that yeah. everything's right and at the sketch stage mm. so illustration I'm in awe like you say this is an easy book I c- can barely draw a stick insect you know what I mean it's just like come on <laughs> Oh, well, I can draw a rabbit. All right, I'll say that. I got a, an A for a rabbit in school. But to do this, like, I am in awe of what you can create. Like, wow. Each it one of these would be a life's work. Maybe I shouldn't say it was easy. I put so much love and hard work into it. I really did. But when I say it was easy, it, it's almost like the magical part of it was easy. Yeah. Um, to, yeah, to bring it to life. Yeah, it flowed through you beautifully because we didn't have any real blocks with the illustrations at all. They, they just came to life. And I was like, oh, The other thing I want to say yeah. is that you didn't give me a brief. I was like, mind blown. You were just like, we trust you, go for it. And I was like, is this actually happening? This never happens, you know. To yeah, have no. that freedom was a real honour for me to, that you just trusted me. You were like... Just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Illustrators, like what, what you guys can do, we could, authors and publishers can't, you know, envisage what you guys can see is like, and whenever I, I there's just magic happens whenever that's creative freedoms there, isn't it? it? Really, yeah, that was rare. So and you hit the fun. nail on the head, like you just got yeah. it. It was just so special. Oh, thanks, Karen. <sighs> guys, you're going to have to get this book the adventures of charlie blue and larry lamppost i i honestly would say there's no story like it it is magical it'll bring you to to other dimensions it's just the most gorgeous book and emma's illustrations bring it to life it is just so so special it'll be on my my um, bookshelf for eternity so i encourage you to grab your copy today um, and it's available to all bookstores across um, australia through peribo distribution and yeah. online it should be circulating online now as well so you can get it everywhere and watch out for the audio flip book read by the duchess that will be launching soon with our new website exciting yeah. emma thank you so much i look forward to working with you again on another project but for now because of naughty covid we can't do in-person launches so for now um our interview is where we're at but we will again hopefully be able to get the duchess out do a tour and have a proper launch as well wouldn't that be amazing <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah where can people find you emma um they can find me on instagram emma stewart illustration um and on facebook it's the same emma stewart illustration there's a page and there's also you can friend me so there's two different accounts on facebook and one on instagram awesome you can find her you'll know you'll know her work straight away (laughs) thank you so much emma for joining me bye everyone